Nottingham Forest are back in the Premier League after 23 long years. Well, things aren't going well for them. They literally signed a whole new squad in the summer to cope with the Premier League, including the goat Jesse Lingard, but they're still bottom of the Premier League. Nottingham is a club with a rich history. They've actually won more Champions Leagues than Man City. They deserve better. And that's why I'm here to change things at Nottingham. We're going to make this team the champions of not just England, but Europe as well. This could be the hardest career mode we've ever done, but I'm ready for this. Well, Welcome guys to my first Premier League career mode of FIFA 23 and yes, it's with Nottingham Forest. Let's do this. I think we should just get stuck into the project. First thing we do in any of my career modes, take a look at the squad. Okay, so Nottingham literally signed a whole new team for the Premier League. Of course, in real life, it hasn't worked, but for us, it might. Players like Jesse Lingard are going to give us the much-needed experience. I really want to try and revive his career. Bro, if we score with him at Old Trafford, it'll be amazing. Brennan Johnson is the player who could be the man to lead this team into the future. He's amazing. Players like Dennis, you've got Gibbs White as well. At the back, a few loanies like Renan Lodi and Dean Henderson. The players are there in this squad. We need to just unlock their potential. Decent amount of talents on the bench as well. We've got a reserves full of young players. I think in this 4-3-3 with the cam formation that we're running, we could really get the best out of everyone. Even after all the spending the board has already done for this season's squad, they're still giving us 34 million. But I don't want to be signing too many players in the first window. I'm just going to make that one signing in the summer window and then we'll make it later on because we want to keep it realistic as well. One more thing, I really feel like Youth Academy is going to play a big part in this series, so stay tuned. We're going to be setting up our Youth Academy very soon. Before we get into making some signings and improving this team, there is a signing, well, we already have, but it's not permanent, and that is Big Dean Henderson. He's been one of my favorite goalkeepers in FIFA. He's got the potential. He's 25. Man United don't want him. I want to make this permanent. His value right now is about 15 and a half million. I think we just pay it and make it permanent because well with his potential and growth he's going to be more expensive later on let's make it happen right now guys remember every penny matters we still need to make a signing for the squad so we got to be as stingy as possible we need the a grade on this okay i think i'm gonna annoy manchester united by putting in 14 million as my offer no it's it's not too bad we could get him for 15.2 this would be such a dub to start out our journey with nottingham forest 15 million they want 15.1 come on for 100 000. Eric Den Hag is squeezing us now. We're going to counter with 15. Please accept it. There you go. Now we're talking. And here we are in the office negotiating with Big Dean Henderson. Also, by the way, rate the look of our manager. I've just given him like a suit. It's the new Mr. S2G of FIFA career mode. Of course, Dean Henderson being 79 rated. Crucial squad role for him for sure. I want to give him a five-year contract. You know, let, let's make him one of the cornerstones of our project. He's currently earning about 65,000 per week. I think we'll give him 70. You know, he's signing for his permanent. We got to give him a wage bump. There you go. Big Dean Henderson is technically our first signing off this Nottingham Forest career mode. Let's go. Bro, he's already at the club, bro. Um, he, he's literally already with us. Why is he walking into the team like he's never known anyone else? Bro, this is, this is weird. Yep, he's having his medical while he's already training uh, at the club and ready to play matches. This is... EA didn't think of this. EA did not think of this. I give it to you. You got me there. Well, at least we get the presentation of Big Dean Henderson as our new keeper. I want to see what prize rating we get on this. It has to be an A. This was solid value. Let's see. They give us a D, bro. Ah, that is an L. But now nah, the quality he's got, it's, it's a dub. If you guys want to see this career mode series uploaded daily, I need you all to subscribe. Help me reach 600k subscribers. I would also love to sign Renan Lodi on a permanent deal, but we just can't afford him. He's worth about 25 and a half million. And we need money for a winger right now. We've got about 18 million and I think I've got just the player in mind. It's Anthony Elanga. You might be thinking he's, he's a right winger, but, but he's right footed so he can easily play on the left. I think that's a better position for him anyways. He's quick. Man United do have a history of selling players to Nottingham like Lingard and Dean Henderson. This makes a lot of sense. Eric Den Haag anyway doesn't really use him, so maybe he could revive his career with us. His rating is a bit wonky, but I'm sure if we play him week in, week out, he can help us out massively. I think we should be able to afford him as well. It's time to negotiate with Eric Den Haag. This guy does not look like him. But anyways, let's get this done. This is going to be the only signing I make in the summer, boys, because I feel like, you know, the, the Nottingham team has made so many signings already. We should just focus on maybe making one addition and we'll keep the rest for January, which, by the way, you guys can decide in the comments. What are you waiting for? 
Do it! Okay, let's be a bit stingy, Asper. Eight million for Anthony Alanga, and that's actually worked. Bro, I should be offering less. He wants an important squad role, by the way. I like that. I like the attitude of the young kid. Him and Brennan Johnson on either side. Oh, boy. That is a lot of talent. We will give him about 70,000. Now, that's a bit too much, but he's already earning good money. We can't give him the same amount of money as Big Dean Henderson. We'll give him 60k per week, and he accepts it. Our first proper signing is Anthony Alanga. You'll love to see that. Well, this time, it makes sense to see him walk into the building because it's the first time Elanga is, of course, being welcomed at Nottingham Forest. Let's hope he can thrive here. Okay, what price rating are we going to get for this? It should be an A because I think it's great value, but I think the game's going to give me, like, a B. Okay, that, that isn't too bad. A B isn't too bad. First thing I'm going to do with him is just convert him to a left winger. That is going to be his position for us. It just makes a lot of sense. And there you go. We've got Anthony Elanga in the starting 11. And that's probably the team we're gonna have to run with in the Premier League, at least for the first half of the season. Bro, I want to make improvements, especially to that back line. We're gonna have to run with Bowley, who's got 58 pace. Okay, so we're done with players coming into the club, but there are still a few players I'm looking to sell to generate some cash for future trans windows, like Scott McKenna, 25-year-old, 73 rated. I'm just gonna cash in on him. And there you go, he's on his way to Hedafe. Another player I'm looking to sell is this Joe Worrell guy. We could get about 6.8 million for him so it, it, we need to get rid of him so joe worrell has been sold and for 6.8 million oh this is great anthony alanga before our first premier league game can be converted to a left winger perfect club clear out continues we keep selling more players after running a bit of a club clear out we're now on 22 million so at least we're keeping ourselves with good money for january i was wondering when this was gonna happen when the sharks would circle around us to sign brennan johnson one of our if not our best players 12.7 million offer now. Nah, we're not letting this happen. I am not selling Brennan Johnson in this series. We can't. Okay, I think we're done with all our transfer stuff for now. It's now time to focus on the Premier League. Our season on the pitch begins now. Our first game is actually against Wolves. This should be fun. Anthony Alanga makes his debut for us in this one. Let's go, boys. We're making our debut as the Nottingham Forest boss. Oh my god. I can't lie, though. Even with the signing of Anthony Alanga, we're nowhere near the quality of the other Premier League clubs. I think this first season is all about building a base, a foundation, and basically just surviving the Premier League. By the way, if you haven't realized, Serge Aurier is a player for Nottingham Forest. Fun fact, I think this first game is going to be a real good indicator of finding out who the ballers of this team are, who the frauds are. And yeah, we need to assess this squad really well. Because come January, once I read through your comments, we're going to make that first top class signing, I think. Renan Johnson here on the ball. Looking inside for Dennis. Gets nope. the shot off and that's one hell of a save from Jose Sar. I thought we were taking the lead there. Elanga. Back to Jesse Lingard just like they were at Manchester United. Lingard going for goal. Can't do anything there. We still have it. It's Brennan Johnson. Strikes it well. And that was just above the crossbar. So close. Oh, uh, we've just been opened up. Raul Jimenez. I can't select the right defender. We just about survived that. Or maybe we haven't. Raul Jimenez again. Dean Henderson, our hero. What a save. Jao Moutinho. Adama Traore. Now, Adam is just so quick. What am I doing defensively in this game? Bro, Wolves have an insane team. How have they signed someone like Goncalo Guedes? It's mental. They look for the ball inside. They're opening us up. Bowley did well, but we just give it away. Guedes shoots and he just can't keep him out. Goncalo Guedes is a baller and we suffer at the hands of him. Wolves make it 1-0. We still have about 30 minutes left. Who's going to be the hero for us in our first game as the Nottingham Forest boss? Frula looking for Brennan Johnson on the volley. That was handballed by Kilman. The ref didn't give it. Look at that piece Bye. of skill from Brennan Johnson, by the way. But the fraudulence of VAR... That, that was handball. Tell you what, you know, you, you never know. That might have ended up in the back of the net. Go on, Elanga. Show us his speed. Come on. Nope. What are you doing? Nelson Semedo can't be doing that to you. Guedes again. Our defense just cannot compete with him right now. Goncalo Guedes. Oh, finally, Bowley puts a challenge in, but this is a nightmare. Serge Aurier has made a lovely run. I, I can't believe he's playing for Nottingham Forest, but what a pass for Dennis. Denied. And now it's Jesse Lingard. No. I thought that was it. I thought Lingard was going to be the hero. 
Well, Lingard could still be if this delivery is on point, but it's the worst corner I think I've ever seen. If you thought this Nottingham Forest career mode was going to be easy, just take a look at the result of this game. We lose our first game. I have kind of figured out the team and who the key players are. Believe it or not, Jesse Lingard was quite good. Elanga and Brennan Johnson just didn't have what it took to, you know, get through that Wolves defense, which was frustrating. And Dennis was like, I don't, I don't even know. He just, he just wasn't that top striker. I don't know if this attack is good enough to be in the Premier League. The midfield is. I like Cuyate. Frula was a baller, by the way. I don't even know who this guy is, but now I know he is the Swiss knife of this team. Our backline wasn't too bad either, you know. Like, we managed to hold off Wolves for the most part, but Guedes just got through us for that one point. But the attack needs to be linking up more together. We do have a chance to make amends and get a win against Crystal Palace. I want to try out Gibbs White in this one so he starts, because he's the future of the club. Also, Neko Williams. And this centre-back, Beyond Cone. You might be thinking a 70 rated center back but he's a lot quicker than Bowley, so i want to give him a try bro we're getting into a premier league game with 70 72 rated players what have i gotten myself into hopefully this is the game we get our first goal as nottingham forest boss oh dennis he just went to take out the keeper there that was never gonna work gibbs white striking it well and that was one of our best chances in this episode fair play come on boys make those runs renan lodi right now looking for dennis Looking for Anthony Alanga. Sees Brennan Johnson. Strikes it, but he puts it wide. You know what? Gotta look at the positives. At least we're creating chances. No, no, keeper. Dean Henderson. Brilliant stuff. Yo, I can't lie. Neko Williams and Bianco have been rock solid in these first 30 minutes. We might have a couple of really great young fullback and centre-back combination at the club. Let's look at Neko Williams go. This, this guy, this guy can dribble. Brennan Johnson... What was that? That's the worst pass I think I've ever seen. Here we go. Neko Williams has been the star of the show so far. Good pass inside for Dennis. Looking for Anthony Alanga. Can he score? Yes, he can. Anthony Alanga gets us our first goal. And he's doing the gritty, boys. He's doing the gritty. We move. Let's go. Anthony Alanga. We spent 8 million on him. And guess what? He has come alive for us. A lovely finish with that left foot of his. 1-0 Nottingham Forest. I don't think there's a better feeling in Karimo than when your new signing, the player you trusted to buy, paid the big money, comes and delivers. It's special. I know a lot of you guys can relate to that. No, no, no. no. They're going to get their goal. Dean Henderson with a big save. And we almost just scored an own goal. Okay, guys, calm down. We don't want any of the silly stuff happening. Okay, this is a bit frustrating. And well, Edward gets his goal. Fair play. Defending against Premier League clubs with the defense we've got is not easy. The fact that we're even doing this is just nuts. It's it's like Jesse Lingard is being brought on as a super sub. Bro, I didn't even realize Awani is actually higher rated than Dennis. Why is Dennis the starter then? Well, he's got more pace, but you know what? Let's bring him on and see what he's all about. Rulan, look at that space for Brennan Johnson to attack. Brennan Ooh. Johnson, uh, I feel like he's an unpolished diamond, if you could say. He's just not doing what I'm expecting him to do so far. And I know the talent he's got. We're just going to have to be patient. You know, the Premier League ain't easy. Brennan Johnson doing really well there, keeping hold of it. Looking inside now for Frula. What can we do? Smart to lay it off for Renan Lodi. Tough touch, but it's worked out well. Oh, what a ball for Anthony Alanga. No, oh, he's actually scored. He's actually scored. Incredible from Anthony Alanga. Do the bloody gritty on them. Come on. 2-1, we lead. Are you guys even seeing the passing here? That might be the best assist I've had in FIFA 23. I did not expect Anthony Alanga to put this top bins. Seriously, he's quality. But bro, we need to have a conversation about this assist. First, Renan Lodi with a bad touch, recovers well. But then, look at this for a pass. Are you kidding me? I didn't even know this guy existed before this game. We bring him off the bench and he does that. Like, are you even kidding? me usually it takes me four or five episodes to build like a special connection with the team but bro i'm already in love with this nottingham team uh, this this club has got the passion the desire two minutes to go we need to hold on we can't be playing passes like that just one minute to go we need the three points it's not gonna be an easy season we need to maximize when we get games like this Lodi gets it just just run down the line lingard just go wide let's waste time there you go. We get our first Premier League winner this season. And boy, has it been a grind. All hail King Anthony Alanga, man. 
what a signing this is turning out to being. Literally, he he's balled out for us. Okay, out of nowhere, Omar Richards, one of our talented left backs, his release clause has been paid 5.5 million by some random club, Maritimo. Who? Yo, if it was like Liverpool, Barcelona, whatever, I'd have let him go. But for Maritomo, I've never even heard of them. Approached by Maritomo, it just makes no sense, man. Where do they even play? I don't know, but I'm just going to give Richards a new contract and, and keep him at the club. Um, There you go. He's extended. Release loss removed. I think we've solved our problem. What a weird one was this. Can't lie. I couldn't care less about the Carabao Cup this season. The focus is to survive in the Premier League. Don't want any distractions. I'm going to use my second demon well. Preston knock us out, but I'm happy. Premier League has got to be our only focus. Now that we've got a win in the Premier League on board, let's build a bit of momentum, but West Ham aren't going to be easy. And we start off with a penalty for West Ham. Brilliant. Big Dean Henderson, can he save it? No, he can't. Ugh. Oh, Antonio, that touch was brutal. And what a finish. West Ham are balling. We can't compete against them. This free kick needs to end up in a goal if we've got any chance of getting something nope. out of this, but the header. David Moyes is West Ham gets the better of us in this one. 2-0 for them. Okay, what are Arsenal doing with us in this relegation battle? That's hilarious. But yeah, I'm, I'm so glad we won that game against Palace because we really are going to be in a relegation battle this season. The Vultures keep coming to try and sign Brennan Johnson for us. No, we're not going to sell him right now. Absolutely not. But yes, with that, we're on transfer deadline day. I don't think we've got anything we need to do now, so we're just going to get through it unscathed, hopefully. And that's the transfer window done. This is basically the squad we've got until January, where you guys are going to help me out with our next signing. But first, we need to spend this 22 million in the only way we can right now. And that is to set up our youth academy. These existing players we've got, they're pretty awful. Like, none of them are going to do anything for us in the future, so I'm legit going to release all of them. We're going to build our youth academy from scratch. The good thing is, we already have a semi-decent scout. We will definitely hire another one. 1.7 million to get Oscar Gale. Okay, we'll pay that. Couple Englishmen as scouts. Okay, definitely going to send the first scout to England for the next three months to bring us some talents. We'll send Oscar Gale. Probably, I'm thinking somewhere near England, but uh, not England in particular. We've already got one scout going there. We'll send him to Spain on a three months project. Hopefully, he gets us some players. We don't want him enjoying on the beaches. Get us some good talents, Oscar. Come on. Before we play Manchester City, which is going to be, my God, a really tough game, we've got Leeds United and Newcastle United. These are a couple of games where if we can get some points on board, well, we could move away from this relegation scrap. We're playing our way at Leeds United. We need to get something out of this. No, no, no. Big save from Dean Henderson. This could be our chance here. Yeah? Anthony Alanga. Oh, he's got the pace as well. Let's go. Cross at the back post, maybe. It's a lovely delivery. How have we not scored? Oh my God, we've got a penalty. A golden chance to take the lead. Brennan Johnson, one of our most talented players, wants to take the responsibility. Can he convert? Can he convert? What just happened? The game just skipped it. I think they gave us a goal. They gave us a goal for that. That's the most awkward penalty I think I've ever seen. But did it even cross the line? I'm so confused. I am so freaking confused here. The ball, I think just... Well, the game, game doesn't even show me the highlight of it. It's given me the lead, so I think we should just be happy. We're literally at the end of the game here almost. That penalty is what's getting us the result here. Maybe if we can score another nope. one. Ah, keeper saves that. But yes, it's enough. That weird penalty gets us three points against Leeds. And trust me, this could be massive come end of season. Up next, it's Newcastle. Wait a minute. When did this happen? Serge Aurea with an injury? No way, dude. He's out with a pulled hamstring for the next six weeks. Ah, oh, that is frustrating. But it does mean Neko Williams gets the opportunity of a lifetime. Aurea, I'm sorry. You're out of the team for now. And Neko Williams is going to be literally a starter until about the next six weeks so let's hope we can make this count bro newcastle have managed to sign gavi how insane is that after scoring that penalty brennan johnson is looking in the mood right now goes down inside the box pen not given of course oh no alexander isaac's through on goal i've just got to take him out maybe i just couldn't even get to him dean henderson saves that oh my god and we get it away here's our striker awani -E. i just can't pronounce his name but we've got a chance to score off the post not from a set piece please nope. no alan saint maximin almost scored well this game against newcastle ended in a nil nil anticlimactic but you know what points is what we need in games like this you know what guys after the first five premier league games of the season being 12th i'm 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 a fan of that 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 isn't too bad but this next game 
is going to be our biggest test, but wait, am I seeing things on Manchester City have the same amount of points as us? They are struggling, and this might be an opportunity to do something against them. We're going to have to give everything to survive against Erling Haaland and co. This is going to be an absolute nightmare, but I think this is a good game to just finally realize what our best team is. I think our best team does involve Dennis over Awani. He had that great assist, but that's about it. Well, we're yet to see any of them score for us, so hopefully that'll happen soon. In midfield, yep, Lingard, Kuyate, and Frula are our best midfield. Of course, Neko Williams is now the only choice we've got for right back, but I don't rate Bowley all that much. Beyond Cone is probably my preferred centre back, so he starts in a game like this. Let's give it everything against Man City. Guys, the approach is going to be very different to normally how I approach games. We're going to be on the defensive. We're going to try and take this thing out of this game. I'm, I'm playing for a point, but it might just be impossible because look at Man City attack right now. So tough to deal with them. Anthony Alanga is doing really well looking for Dennis. Let's see if he can be a menace for the opposition. It's a good ball and a chance. Head is saved. What an opportunity. Bro, Frula might just be my favorite player in this team right now. He is just so dynamic, honestly. What a ball for Dennis. Cleared away. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Henderson saves. We'll need this man to save us throughout the entire game because this bold man will do everything to beat us. Uh-oh, Bernardo Silva. I just went sliding in. Holland and... There you go. The pain is about to begin. You know what? Renan Lodi out of nowhere has just broken through and he's actually scored. Renan Lodi. It's such a shame he's a player on loan because I want to make him a permanent signing. He's just that good. But yeah, let's enjoy him while we have him. Renan Lodi running through Man City's defense exposed. It's kind of funny how we've got goals coming from everywhere except our strikers. Anthony Alanga looking inside. What can he do? Finesse shot. He's nope. going for it and forces Edison to make the save. We're somehow competing with City. Go on, Lingard. We need the best corner of your life. That was maybe one of the worst, but Alanga gets it on the volley, forces another save. Anthony Alanga has been a superstar signing. Take him out. Oh, come on. My sliding challenge is just missing. Finally, we got to defend against Phil Foden like that because he's just too good. No, this is bad. Cancelo Holland again. Mares. Oh, the pain. We concede. City 2-1. No, 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 Bernardo, no. Just, just end me. Just end my life here. Yeah. I don't want to do this. City 3-1. I don't think we're coming back from this. I'm just going to give other players a chance to shine. Maybe Gibbs White can come on. We'll give Yates a bit of a run out because he's a young CDM with talent. Uh, probably Richards as well. We can now make five substitutions, I think, right? So maybe we'll bring on Awani. I can't even say his name. But let's hope our striker can finally get a goal. Gibbs White does really well looking for Neko Williams. Cut back inside for Brennan Johnson. We almost scored there. We almost scored. No, no, no. We've just gifted them a goal. Put me out of my misery. No, <laughs> they're going to score another one. Well, we're lucky they did. You know what? The crazy thing is, even though we've conceded four, um, Dean Henderson's probably been our best player. Who's our best free kick taker? Because we've actually got a decent chance to score. Literally, nobody can take free kicks at this club. Frula. Frula is our best free kick taker. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go for it. It's This is a glory shot. Like, it's going to count for nothing. But why not? Let's just go for it. Frula. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. And he's actually scored a free kick against Man City. Bro, Frula is the player that we need to build this team around. It's a shame he's 30, but he's definitely going to be the, the workhorse of this team. And he's got the talent to pop in free kicks like that. Okay, this angle's going to be amazing to look at. Frula with the free kick of dreams up and over the wall between the players. Just brilliant. It's just such a shame that that goal is as meaningless as it gets. Oh my god, they're just going to score again. Bro, 5-2. We've been battered. I'm glad this game has come to an end. 15th in the Premier League. We're on the verge of being in the relegation battle. But I told you, that's going to be the challenge of this Nottingham Forest career mode. I seriously can't wait for our first scout report because getting the top tier academy players could be key. The journey with Nottingham Forest has begun. We're on the grind and we'll keep it going now in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video and want to see me fix Liverpool, maybe, well, click somewhere here. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.